Hello Cancer and welcome to your November 2019 mid-month reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. Alright Cancer, this is for you. If this resonates with you Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Cancer. For November 2019, for their mid-month reading, this is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? Ooh. Okay, so you need time to think about things. There is a... Um, with the, with the couple cards here, I'm seeing um, you having to make a very clear choice between two different people. And there is one of them that you're kind of keeping hidden here. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, you try to withdraw from this individual. And it's like you've got a lot of hidden, it's like a hidden relationship, hidden emotions for this person. You've tried to withdraw from them to really try to think about what you're doing here. It's a very confusing time for you, but you got to make a choice here. And it is a choice between two people. That's what I'm seeing here, Cancer. All right, so that's, that's clearly a, not a scenario for every Cancer out there, but that's what's on my table. Um, so I'm going to read the energies of the card here. Cards here, Cancer, if the sign of the person that you are dealing with or have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid, so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now. Um, you could be dealing with a situation like this in um, the future, okay? Um, that song, or, or some of you may have already dealt with the situation. That song, Jesse's Girl. Um, kept popped into my head, okay? That song, Jesse's Girl. It's like, yeah. It's like there's three of you, and it's like a, it's a group situation, like maybe at work or at school or at college or something like that. And it's like the two of you are together, as an official couple and then there is like this outsider this uh, third wheel so to speak kind of looking in on the situation and it's like you've got feelings for that person like the third wheel and the third wheel's got feelings for you as well and it's like I don't know what to do with this I don't know who I should choose what I should what I should do it's like a this person's best friend has feelings for you kind of a situation like that Jesse's girl song you know what I'm trying to say all right cancer please keep in mind that some of these energies uh, can be vice versa or interchangeable so the lovers here Gemini energy you got a decision to make this is you got a choice between two level lovers right one that you are already established with and one is an outsider looking in now, um, you assign the roles however you wish, okay? Um, so you could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart, but you're going to have to make a heart overhead decision. And oh, what does that mean? And it's always got like Johnny Depp in it. And, you know, if, if you were really in love with the first person, would you have fallen in love with the second individual? Do you know... I forget how that meme goes, but if you were really 100% head over heels in love with the person that you were with, would you have fallen in love with somebody outside of that relationship? So that is a meme, and it's Johnny Depp is usually pictured on it. I forget how it goes exactly, but it's basically that sentiment. 
So you got a choice here, Cancer, on what you want to do. The truth is going to come out one way or another. Ace of Swords, okay? So what is hidden is going to, to uh, come out, right? Ace of Swords, that's a realization. This is truthful communication. And I feel like the person, the outside, the outsider that's looking in on the situation, that's wanting to be with you, I feel like uh, they want the truth to come out. They're ready. They're ready for this new beginning. They're ready for their victory. They want you to, um, they want you to make a decision, and they want you to choose them, and they want you to cut off um, the person that you are in a relationship with, and be with them. Okay, they don't want to be the third wheel anymore. They want to be the star of the show. This is complicated. All right, Ace of Swords, that's Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, be careful with this. I feel like things are changing. Emotions are changing. Um, and you may be doing a lot of realization at this time because you're very, very confused. And you really need to get clear on what you want to do here. Wheel of Fortune. Um... Things are, you know, the universe is at work here behind the scenes. I feel like things are going to go in your favor, but be careful here because something may happen to, like, expose all of this, okay? This um, person, well, basically everybody involved needs some balance here, okay? Too many people in this, in this situation, so we need balance. We need reciprocity. The person that is on the outside looking in, um, the third wheel, so to speak, they just want two people here. They want things to be equal. They want things to be balanced. The person that you are with in a relationship with, they want the same thing. They don't want to share you with anybody. They want things to be balanced, just you and them. They want that reciprocity too. So we're going to have to make a very clear decision here with this lover's card. We're going to have to follow our heart, and we're going to have to cut somebody loose, okay? Because um, it's going to have to happen um, before, like, something uh, kind of pops off and reveals the whole situation here. All right? Now, I realize that not every cancer is in a situation like this, but somebody needs to hear this reading. So, um it's on the table here, right? So Queen of Swords, so you're going to have to, it's, this is going to be a battle between your head and your heart. It really is because this card says make a decision with your heart. This card, you're trying to make a decision with your head, okay? But here's the thing. You see that sword in her hand and you see this sword here, right? You're trying to get the clarity that you need to make a decision because you're so emotionally confused right now between these two people, the, between these two lovers, um, that you kind of need to take a step back and kind of emotionally distance yourself for a hot minute so that you can get clear and you can make those clear decisions, okay? The one that is best for you. Queen of Swords, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So I feel like that's why you're embracing your inner Queen of Swords here. She can go cold a little bit, but but she's very, excuse me, she's very ex, uh, experienced. She's very well seasoned, and she can go quiet and cut people out. And I think this is you just kind of getting a little bit, uh, I want to say, emotionally detached from the situation and trying to look at it in a like a like an objective way so that you can get clear and make the decisions that you need to make. So that's the situation that's going on right now. Um, I feel like you need time to, the challenge here is taking the time that you need to really think things through and see who you want to choose here which direction you want to go, um, who, who, who can't you, you know, be without that kind of question. So you're going to have to go really deep here. And I feel like that's, that's what you're going to do. And you need to kind of withdraw and take a step back from each individual so we can see how the situation's going to play out. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart here with this hermit card. Then we have this uh, Pisces, okay? So 
anything that is hidden under this Pisces moon, I feel is going to come to light and it needs to, okay? A decision needs to be made here. Um, that is the advice. Anything that's hidden needs to come to uh, the surface, all right? Um, needs to be uh, spoken about, needs to be revealed um, so that, um, you know, things can move in the correct direction. Bottom line here, um, you, I, that the outside person that's looking in the third wheel, um, they've got hidden feelings for you. And I think you've got, you know, hidden feelings for them too. And it's going to come to light if, if, if you don't make a decision, it's going to be like an even bigger mess if you can't get clear and figure out who you want here at Cancer. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, because the focus, it's hard to focus. It's hard because your emotions are all over the place. You've got options here. Seven of Cups is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You've got options. So who do you choose? It's so, it's like you've got feelings for both of these people. Um, but it's maybe somebody's even like giving you an ultimatum and you're going quiet for a while to try to get clear and try to decide. Maybe the outside person that's looking in is saying, look, if you don't make a decision and, and say, you know, and bring this to the light, maybe I'm going to that kind of thing. Um, because it's, it's getting tricky here and you simply, you just don't know what to do. So with these two cards here and here. But especially these two cards, I feel like you're going to take the time that you need to get clear, right? And take that sword and clear, cut through some of that emotional confusion and make the decisions that is best for you and, and what you want to do here. Because the outcome here, too many people here, okay? And they're both looking at you like, who are you going to choose? That's how I'm seeing that card. Three of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So I'm seeing this as you're kind of in control of the, the, the decision and the situation. And you just need that clarity to make it, to make um, a clear choice. Who do you want to be in a partnership with? Like I said, this is like a group situation here. Um, could be work, could be college, could be school, uh, friends, acquaintances, that kind of thing. Um, who do you want to be in a partnership with, Cancer? That's what's going on here. I feel like the these two are kind of waiting for your answer. Um, three of Pentacles, it's Earth. All right, let's see what's going on here. This is for Cancer for November 2019. Please clarify that Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Please clarify that Three of Pentacles for Cancer. Whew. Yeah, it's going to change. It's going to change everything. I I feel like something may pop off here. Something may be revealed here um, with this tower moment. But I feel like, yeah, and, and, and we got an ending and a new beginning here. Do you see that? The, the tower moment. This is going to shake. Sh this is going to be a big shake up here once you make your decision. Once you make your decision, who you want to give your heart to, this is going to be a big shakeup. So expect the unexpected here, um, Cancer. Once you make that choice, it's uh, the, the the dynamic of the group. Number one is not going to be the same again. Um, if there's friendships involved, they may come to an end. Um, there may be like an ending of one relationship to. Uh, start a new relationship, right? Once you make your choice, it's going to be a big shakeup. But even before then, something may be revealed here. And um, I feel that kind of strongly for some of you, okay? But I'm seeing you um, making a, definitely a clear decision, okay? So that's good. Um, and I definitely see a new beginning in love here for you. But this whole situation... It's going to cause a big old shakeup. So be prepared. Um, yeah. So let's see what the Romance Angels has to say for you, Cancer. And this is for Cancer for November 2019. 
for their mid-month reading for Cancer. What is going on here? This is for Cancer. For November 2019. What is going on here? Yeah. Okay, so we have retreat here. It's time to disconnect from the world, and that's what I was talking about. That's how you're going to get that's how you're going to get clear to make this decision that you need to make. Okay. You're going to, like I say, hermit mode, let the wise old hermit. You're going to go a little cold, distance yourself from everybody. So you can take the time that you need to go inward and figure out what you want and how you want this to go, what choices you want to make, um, because it's so emotionally confusing for you right now. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I feel like this is going to be uh, a, a huge shakeup here, right? And it's going to, and I feel like there's going to be a lot, some hurt feelings here, especially for the one person that you don't choose. But I do feel like eventually there's going to be a lot of forgiveness here and a lot of lessons learned, okay? And that does come with every tower moment, right? Um, so that is going to take time in this situation, okay? Just so you're aware of that. But because somebody is going to get hurt, there's going to be a huge shakeup here um, in, the, in the dynamic of this um, situation, for real. Nothing's going to be the same again. And... Um, I feel like I feel like you're choosing the, uh, a new person. I really do. That's that's what I'm seeing. So um, the past is is uh, the person that you're with right now is probably going to have a, um, a a hard time with that. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, Cancer. Um, very complicated reading here and uh, let me know how things go uh, like i said this is not for every cancer out there just be careful here right um, clearly decide what you want uh, be very clear okay and just know that this will this will cause a, a, a shake up but a decision needs to be made here all right so that is what's going on for your mid-month reading and i hope you have enjoyed it and i hope it resonates for some of you um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111, and I will leave those links down below in the description box. Um, there's also a weekly schedule and a live schedule, so you can see when your weekly reading, uh, what day your weekly reading will be released, and, uh, the live schedule, I go live every day, but... Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. And uh, next week I'll be working on the future love reads for everybody. So, Cancer, um, good luck. Take care of yourself. God bless. Have a great week. And keep, keep us posted, right? All right. Y'all take care of yourself. God bless.